uh, cover upgrading the lifters in the standard uh, turbo dodge motor that'd be the 8 valve 2.2 and 2.5 liter engines turbo or not this upgrade will help both it will especially help the naturally aspirated ones that have to rev into the stratosphere anyway so I'm half I've started this already but I figured I'd shoot some video what I've got here are some PT lifters pick these up at the junkyard they're uh, pocket size which I believe at the junkyard means they're free um, may vary depending on the junkyard but uh, here's the standard lifter it looks like it's got a hole in the top but it's just a flat spot it's like they intended to drill these but never got around to it so set these side by side yeah. come down here and you'll see get it to focus there we go you'll see it it's a little bit taller what I've got so digital caliper you don't really need this many digits on your caliper. Um, three decimal places will work. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to measure this. Uh, get it square. There we go. Uh, 1.494. I've seen about 1.5 average on these things. 1.492. We'll call it 1.5. This is not terribly precise because that's just a cap that's on the actual top of these. And we'll measure this one, 1.384. So I'm calling them about 0.12 difference, 120. So I bought these basic washers. Um, the diameter of these things is 6260 for the outside, and the hole is 1,000th larger, so it's 627 hole. It's a really tight fit. The base of these things down here is about. 0.520. So you want it bigger than the base, but not um, 626, because then it doesn't fit down the hole worth a darn. The washers that I bought are 572, so they're right in between. Nice, good size. Takes two of these to get the right spacing, and they're really cheap stamped ones. So you got to get them um, stamped side down, both of them they kind of notch together. And then we measure these. 0.123. And it varies. I see 0.119 through 0.123. Um, they're pretty close and uh, they'll compress a little bit in there so it'll get the 0.120 that I'm looking for. And these things are designed to compress and they're self-adjusting so a little difference like that's not going to be a big deal. Now let's go to installing them. These need to go together in a certain direction. If you just drop them in the hole they're just gonna fall and go any way they want. So I've got over here a uh, Phillips head screwdriver. It's a number one. I'm gonna slide the washers up the, the shank of it. See they fit real nicely. Now down in the hole, you see at the bottom of the hole there is a hole at the bottom of the hole. I've already put two washers in there so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop this one in. We'll cover the next one. So. There, it's in the hole. Here's the follower. I'm trying to keep these in the same spot on the cam. Something interesting about these followers, they've got a hole in the top of them, and these PT lifters have a hole in the top. The original lifters didn't. It's like they had intended to do this, but decided to save it for another decade or two. So, we'll take the next lift, the follower off, pull the old lifter out. Ta -da. Now I'll take my screwdriver with the two washers on it, grab the washers like that so they don't fall in, take the tip of the screwdriver, find that hole at the bottom, stick it in there, and release the washers. They fall to the bottom, nice and square, pull the screwdriver out. Take your junkyard PT lifters and drop them in. Simple as that. If you uh, see them side by side with the old lifters, you can see that the cap is in the same location. It's spaced just fine. So we grab the follower, place it back in place, ta-da, we move on. Repeat this eight times and we've got it ready to be reassembled. Easy upgrade. Makes the engine so much quieter, so much smoother. You should do this.